Our apartment got raided. Our, our landlord tried to evict us to death. We got away safely, and I at least got all my cash with me. Unfortunately, I cannot say things are all that well right now for stocks, as in, they aren't going up anymore. So, it's been a day of contrasts. Yeah, but... Those 2,000 holdings are still getting us 1,200 apiece, so... I can't complain much. I, th really? I think someone's I got a message for us, though. So now we're uh, going after sovereign citizens. This is going to be fun. TLDR, hey, sorry that we almost killed you over a managerial fuck-up. Are you sure you can't come into work today? <laughs> you see, th that little uh, reveal slash joke, that just makes too much sense. It feels too real. Like, not, in the I... sen not in the sense that, like, some businesses actively try and kill their employees by accident. <laughs> but I, I, but but that same sense of uncaring is too true. I have oh. literally worked at places where they have fucked up the uh, my bank details, mm -hmm. and I've been like, "Cool, I haven't gotten paid, so I can't come into work today." And they're like, "Well, that sounds like more of a you problem than a me problem." Jeez. And then try to blame it on me, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I always make sure that I do this sort of thing because that this sort of thing accurately because it has happened before. I double, triple, and quadruple check this shit. Yeah. And then again, I got a black mark because I couldn't come in because I had no money or whatever. Jeez. I'm All not right. Better. Here we are on the high seas as a. As a bunch of billionaires who think they're too good to hang with the rest of this crap sack world they've created are gonna are gonna hang out and just like have all the people they want like on their boats and nothing can happen because of the implications. But nothing is gonna happen, right? What implications, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, of course you know, nothing's gonna happen, but yeah. They don't know. Look, we look. We just want to make sure that, like, uh, that, like, all the bio slaves feel like they're safe because of the implications. Again, you keep using that word. I don't think I like it. <laughs> also, slowly approaching the level of I don't think it means what you think it means. Because <laughs> it sounds like. <laughs> I wanted to kill that guy for some extra, uh, submachine gun ammo. I mean, you've killed people for less in this game. Yeah, but I killed him in a different way. I used a grenade, because we got some new toys to play with. Yes. As, as you saw in the augments that I equipped. Also another Cruelty Squad, uh, agent, who's basically here to give us a hint that, like, if you didn't think to go back to Paradise, to look for the Dark World entrance. This is basically supposed to be your first hint of there's a secret exit that goes to a new level. Also, so, that that pool uh, just hanging overhead cannot be safe whatsoever. Also, the way he the, the way they, they typed in Caribbeans, I keep imagining that he's pronouncing it Caribbeans. I have no idea why some of them are still floating, <laughs> or why the target didn't just die as soon as he hit the ground. Oh shit, he's coming right at us! Also, that was the other new augment we brought. The alien wet, uh, wetware. Yes. Or whatever it's called. Which basically, uh, increases the insane strength of your kick even more than it already is at. <laughs> <laughs> you can drop kick people into orbit. Yeah, I mean, I kicked him so hard his remains have bounced up out of the pool. <laughs> I've, like, the, uh... It, it is it is so fun every time. 
I fucking hate these alternate currency speculators. It's all just a pump and dump scheme. We know that by now, kids. Go fall. Yep. If you see someone trying to peddle crypto, just kick them. Although the phrase pump and dump scheme in this game with this setting probably has a whole new horrific connotation. True, true. Anyway, time to get the next target. He's in the room directly across from us. But we're oh, not going to aim directly. We're not going to aim directly at him, though. We're aiming for someone else. Assuming that I can time it properly. Oh, wait, no, they stopped. Duke Torgo would not be pleased at this. So that dude exploded into a gas cloud. <laughs> hey, at, hey, at least I'll have plausible de deniability by saying on my oath I wasn't going to shoot him. <laughs> he just happened to die because I shot someone else. I didn't shoot him. <laughs> like, sir, we can hear the italics in that sentence. Good for him. Mercury, Mercury. That doesn't sound like a good place to stand. Of course not! <laughs> I mean, we already talked about this with, like, Venus and, like, the Nazis and Wolfenstein. Even when they colonized that, they couldn't settle it on the surface properly. They had to still, like, have, like, a, like a colony base that's, like, in at least the upper atmosphere. <laughs> How are we getting to work? Very carefully. Yeah. Bit, I was trying. I was life. trying to. I was trying to test and see if like it boosts the strength of your kick enough that it can break open doors or like other cracks in the walls that are designed to like be destroyed with explosive weapons. But unfortunately, not. Ah, shucks. I know it, it's a shame because it's already fun like kicking down doors anyway. <laughs> like, why not be able to do it on doors that are locked? Why isn't there a bonus game mode for this where you get to play pinball with corpses by kicking them? <laughs> Seems like a no-brainer. I mean, I mean, this is only like one of two ways to play pinball with people's uh, like corpses and like their jibs or whatever. The other, funny enough, is actually one that like uh, that augments your like arm strength. Mm. Because oh, yeah, the the throw one. Yeah, which. Even without that, though, you can still do some pretty impressive stuff even with throwing objects. Not, It's not necessarily shown in this video or in the next one, but I make a, a, a huge discovery about it, like, way later on. That as soon as it happens, like, I just throw out all of my plans I originally had when I was recording that video and just try to fit in as much throwing shit as possible. Because what I discovered with it was just oh so fun. <laughs> Say so. It's kind of a surprise to see the water's actually blue and not like, I don't know, rusty orange. I mean, that's assuming that the water is ever gonna stay the same color. <laughs> that's assuming it's still water. <laughs> Saying all this, and I am desperately trying so hard not to, like, just give away something from near the end of the game. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Oh, I only got one out of two, but that's fine. Eh. Unfortunately, that was our last grenade. The grenades are pretty handy, but you gotta be very careful where you use them because you're only allowed to carry two at the start of a mission. <laughs> but I mean, if it's a situation where it's like a rocket would be useful, but you don't want to carry around a big rocket launcher and you know it's only one or two at most like spots where you know an explosive would be useful, I mean, you could do worse. Yeah, a lot of the guides I've seen do suggest taking the grenades as a good early weapon, just as a backup. Yeah. Just either that or the ammo gland. Mm-hmm. But that's obviously, like, assuming that, like, you're wanting to try and, like, use, like, implants even earlier than the moment, as I demonstrated, where we get super rich. <laughs> because, like, at this point, it's like, the one that I care most about always having at the earliest convenience is the life sensor. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's also one more, like, augment I put in quotes that I technically have equipped right now. It's called the Extravagant Suit. <laughs> yes, that's right. 
I'll explain it after I pull off this trick shot. <laughs> Standing on top of a rotating antenna. Hey, look at that. I painted the skybox. <laughs> Way to go, Brawl Samson. <laughs> Way to go, Duke Togo. <laughs> ah, they'd be buddies and you know it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already at the end of the mission. All the targets are killed. I might as well see how many more, like, fancy shots I can pull off with the sniper rifle. Yeah, at this point, you're just on holiday. Yeah. But yeah, what the extravagant suit does, besides making you look fancy, uh, it makes it so that it turns on one-hit kill mode. Oh, okay. I shit you not, that's what happens. Like, it, it re anytime you take damage, it always reduces your health to zero, but it also has, like, the unintended bonus of, like, it drops it to zero and not below. Which means if you get hit with something that would have normally dropped your health to, like, negative 40, which causes the auto self-destruct, then you would, like... Uh, then like that won't happen when you have the suit equipped so you actually have time to get to the uh, to the level exit if you're close enough uh, or if presumably if you're near any food or anything then you can just go back up to five health and you're fine again that too anyway since we're on the seas i guess it makes enough sense that we should uh get some fishing out of the way stocks aren't going up anymore for sieve so we might as well get some other sources of income not like we're strapped for cash or anything. Okay, Flippy. so where do you get the dope fish? <laughs> that... That'd be too good. <laughs> I mean, he showed up in practically every other game that we've done. It really was only rot, though. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like he was. his presence was felt in others. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, 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 what you oh, what you saying that like fucking the, the the dope fish showed up like somewhere in hell in Shadows of the Dam? Because if it did, that would have made that LP so much better when we go when we were going through it. <laughs> it would have at least he, given us more neurons active in our brain. <laughs> he was there in Killer Seven, watching over us the whole time, and you know it. Man, that's fair. <laughs> dope, uh, dope Smith. <laughs> he was the secret ninth persona. Yeah. I read it on Game Facts. Shut up. Anyway, here's the discovery that actually, if you, uh, like, uh, that yes, there are still more than enough ways to get on top of, like, where the helipad is with and without the, uh, with the Grapendix. Because there are just, there are enough ladders on the back side of the boat that can just get you there. Game's fairly good at giving you as many alternate, um, pathways without upgrades as it can. Yeah, and I think it works well in this case because I feel like, I feel like when it comes to like real world like layouts that lend themselves fairly easily to good like game levels, you kind of can't go wrong with like a good ship. <laughs> like, cause there's like an inherent like symmetry to it. There's obviously like everyone knows about like port sta uh, star uh, starboard and like all, uh, all that uh, and all that stuff as far port as like bow, starboard stern. Yeah, like, the, the, the main cardinal directions of the ship, like, and the general idea of, like, where certain things would go, depending if it's, you know, if it's supposed to be, like, just a regular frigate, or a, or a cruise ship, or what have you. Frigate? Barely even knew it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going stupid. back here because, as you might imagine, yes, there is an entrance that goes to a secret level. But, and, like, it's important to note that, like, I always have to do it after I complete the level normally. Because if you take the secret exit first, it doesn't count as you completing this level. Like, it basically just, like, uh, ends your current progress for this. It only counts it if you've gone through what the game expects you to do, which is kill all the targets and go to the designated escape area. <clears throat> so, to save time, uh, to, like, add more time before I eventually go through that secret entrance... Maybe we should, like, talk to these targets a bit more. Just see, like, what kind of fucked up reasoning they landed on for why they decided to create their own sovereign nation on a cruise ship. Because th because despite being rich as fuck, they didn't have enough to buy up a small island to, uh, to like, create their new civilization. 
I've got five quid says the words Admiralty Law are going to show up before the end of this video. <laughs> Just they're Quite taking possibly. it as literally as possible. Yeah. But even then, it's like, this level's still very fun if only because I always like the ways that you can go about, like, killing, like, the targets. Whether it's, like, in the approach or just, like, the, the methods of, like, how they actually die. Like, shooting out the pool from the underside is, is definitely, like, that, that's, that's a great one, you know? Yeah. That's, because that's it's some the literal hitman stuff. Yeah, and it's the sort of thing where it's like you don't realize that's actually the case at first because you probably will shoot... You'll probably try and shoot the target that's in the pool from topside, but then realize that as your bullets miss, it breaks the glass. And then you realize, oh wait, the pool can actually be damaged and like break apart. And then you look for where the, sor like, the source of the underside is and you're like, oh wait, it's in the main promenade area. That gives me a great idea. <laughs> anyway, that's that's some ways of going about trying to climb with the Grapendix. It's a bit tricky because, like, it obviously gives you better results if you're working with, like, pre-existing momentum. If you're trying to climb, you have to do a lot of very careful, like, pulling yourself back, letting the, the momentum carry you then, and then, like, the, and then, like, release and select again while like having to do grapple point be higher than where you're currently at. Also, I wasted... Tim Curry did not go to space to deal with this guy's bullshit. Yeah. Unfortunately, I wasted a bit of bullets shooting at the door not realizing it was indestructible. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a bio slave. Same, but you don't hear me screaming about it. Yeah, like... Like, this adds the extra layer of fucked upness to this entire level and, like, the people running the show. Like, I, I did not make up the name Bioslave when I said it. Like, these are, like, genetically modified humans who I assume are under the same rough treatment as, like, you go through when you enter power and misery. Mm. Except they're stripped of even l more autonomy than you are. So it's like, they're, they're kind of left as, like, Vaguely human shades, but like none of the other important discernible features of a human, like a regular face, and just screaming in agony, like at their existence, presumably internally, because they're also used as like they're ba they're basically fucked uh, they're ba they're basically sex dolls for uh for these fucked up rich people, because one of the because uh, one of the lines of dialogue you can get from one of the targets was I used to not get any sex, but now I'm fucking a bio slave every week, and it's like. Wow, you do deserve to die. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's... I, I I feel like it would be inappropriate for me to make any jokes after that, so I'm just gonna say nothing. Yeah, it's it. It's, it's not, not pretty. Good. It's not good. No. Let's uh, let's look forward to the next video where we you know, where we go out of our way to kill a bunch of different assholes. Oh, thank God for that.